Okay, I wanted to go back to my videos um, regarding states of matter and kind of backtrack a little bit because I realize when I talk about matter and elements and molecules, it gets to be a little confusing. And I thought that this um, simulation would, would help clear some things up. So you can see here um, <clears throat> that here we have an example of neon, um, neon atoms uh, in a solid form. So they're all packed tightly together and they're vibrating. And you can notice that neon is represented by a single sphere um, uh, colored blue. And each sphere represents a single atom. And then same thing for argon, uh, represented by a single sphere colored pink. And again, in a solid state. And so these are examples of pure elements. That um, there are no other substances in there. There are no other types of material. It's all neon, or it's all argon, and um, there's you can't break it down into any other smaller pieces. Here we have oxygen, and the same holds true. Oxygen is an element, and when you get pure oxygen, all you get is oxygen. But oxygen travels around uh, kind of in a different way, and it's not the only element that travels this way. Oxygen uh, moves around in pairs and they're called uh, diatomic molecules. And so um, oxygen generally travels in, in pairs. Sometimes you'll have you know, an oxygen in, in a group of three, or even a, a once in a while an oxygen is a group of one. But generally they appear in pairs, and here you have um, an example of oxygen in its solid state. Okay, And so they're in pairs, and then the molecules um, are, are attached to other molecules. And um, there, it's a molecule because it's more than one atom. It can be the same atom, um, and in this case it is, and so it's a molecule. It is not a compound though. Water would be an example of a compound. Now here we have water, H2O, which means that there are two hydrogens. The, these are the hydrogens, the white spheres, connected to an oxygen. And so here you get an example of, of a compound where you have two completely different types of elements combined together. So it's not an element, it's a compound of hydrogen and water. Um, but just like oxygen, water, um, these water are, these examples of water is a molecule because we have more than one atom combined. So uh, oxygen would be um, a molecule of a pure element. Water would be a molecule of a compound because it is made up of different um, elements. It's made up of a hydrogen and an oxygen. Um, so I hope that's kind of clear because we talk about atoms and molecules and it gets, it gets to be kind of confusing and I thought these pictures would be a good way to uh, visualize and explain it. And then of course you know we see um, uh, it as a solid and then we'll see it moving around more as a liquid and then spread out as a gas. But um, the, the purpose of today is to recognize uh, pure elements and um, its atomic state and pure elements as a molecule. And I think, you know, there are others other than oxygen. There's, I think, nitrogen. Um, off the top of my head, I can't even think of all the diatomic molecules. It's been a little, little too long since I took chem. Um, but this is a diatomic molecule, and this molecule has different elements, so it is called a compound. All right, thanks for watching.